Um, thank you guys. Uh, this is um, oh, there's a lot of people here. Um, this is my first time ever doing this, so um, there's a good chance that I'll rush through it and finish early, and we'll all sort of leave a little unsatisfied and embarrassed. Um, but uh, uh, I had a cold, um, and this was a, this was a couple of years ago, um, and. Uh, my, my girlfriend at the time was like, oh, you gotta try Airborne. It's awesome, you're gonna love it. Like, it'll just knock it right out. So I, I got the package and I looked at it, and it says, you know, Airborne, helps support the immune system. And then in big letters across the top it says, created by a school teacher. And, and I was just like, well, why the fuck would I wanna take medicine created by a school teacher? I, I got nothing against school teachers, but how is that a selling point? This cold remedy was designed by somebody who has absolutely no understanding of immunology or infectious diseases. <laughs> Completely unqualified. I mean, I guess like the idea is that school teachers are around kids a lot, and there's a lot of germs around, and then somehow that gives them an understanding of advanced pharmaceutical design. Or something. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, so I guess like you know when I go in for surgery at some point, the doctor's going to be like. We're gonna have to put this pacemaker in your heart, but uh, don't worry, it was designed by a fat construction worker. So, um, bumper stickers. I wanna talk about bumper stickers a little bit. I, uh, I get really irritated when I'm driving behind uh, a car and it has a bumper sticker with like a political message that I, that I don't agree with, you know, like uh, yes on eight, or McCain Palin, or uh, peace on earth. <laughs> what the fuck is your problem, hippie? Um, but, but really, like, the issue for me is, is all bumper stickers, because I don't understand the thought process behind bumper stickers. Like, hey, let's, uh, let's reduce our most complex social issues down to a catchy three-word phrase and stick it to the back of a car. That'll change some minds. Um, <laughs> and then, and then, there's, then there's bumper stickers where I just am a little mystified. I'm like, I don't even know what they're hoping to accomplish. Uh, I, saw, I saw a cop car, and it had a bumper sticker that said, don't abandon your baby. <laughs> it's really, like, who's the audience for that? Like, who, like, who is that? Name? Is someone gonna be walking down the street toward the dumpster, like, carrying their baby, just gonna <laughs> toss the baby in, and see that bumper sticker, and go, you know that cop car's right. I'm, I'm gonna give you a loving home. Thanks, bumper sticker. <laughs> uh, but I gotta get serious in a minute. I wanna talk to you about uh, canola oil. Um, you guys know about canola oil? Uh, I found out that the name canola is just made up. It's not a real thing, they just made up the name. And. Uh, what happened is they, um, it's a Canadian product and they wanted to export it to the US and Americans wouldn't accept the original name of the product, which is rapeseed oil. <laughs> Canola oil is made from the seed of the rape plant. And the Americans were too squeamish for, for that. And uh, so what I was wondering about that is, uh, what the fuck is wrong with Canadians? Because they were apparently fine with rapeseed oil. And, and in fact, some Canadian at some point looked at this plant and went, you know what that little flowering shrub reminds me of? Rape. <laughs> I, let's just name it rape, eh? Uh, but I, I guess it's really, it's really a good thing that, that they changed the name because, uh, you know, like, in the U.S., we, we have a shortened names of things, right? Like Coca-Cola becomes Coke, and Chevrolet becomes Chevy. And with rapeseed oil, you can be like eating fries going, hmm, were these cooked in rape? Because like, I'm getting like this distinctive rape taste, and I, I'm, I'm a little allergic to rape, so. Uh, or you mean like at the grocery store, like, oh, we got the mayo, we got the butter. Oh, honey, would you just, uh, would you just grab me a bottle of rape? Yeah, it's over by the ketchup. Get, yeah, get the extra virgin, that's the best kind of way. <laughs> and on that note, I will leave you. Thank you guys so much.